So in this lecture, we're going to start to post-process our results, and then we're going to run a turbulent case as well. And to begin, uh, let us save. And let's just say that um, that is especially, I, I've been neglecting it a little bit, and it's especially important in the context of uh, VMI labs or, uh, or web apps. Um, it's very easy to, you know, have a meeting or any sort of other obligation. You walk away from your screen, you lose your instance and your part goes away, right? So make sure you save. Not saying that ever happened to me, but you know, don't let it happen to you. So, all right. Okay. Um, but post-processing, we've got our results. We want to take a look. Let's start off by orienting in the front plane. And for, oops, for our sake, let's turn on the wireframe view. So display style, select wireframe, and then under display, uncheck lighting. So that will just make everything a little bit easier to see. And now let's insert a mesh. And you wanna go X, Y plane, and we'll move that forward to Actually, we should be good at zero. So let's make a mesh in the XY plane. And, in, and instead of color by refinement level, go color by none. And, oh, maybe that did, maybe we did want to move that forward. So let's move that to 0.1 meters. There we go. So here we have our mesh. And again, we've got coarse, uh, cells towards the top and they're getting finer and finer and finer and they are very fine as we approach the wall. And the next thing we're going to do is we will insert a cut plot. So right click cut plot, select insert and front plane is fine. What we want to do is velocity and you want to set the number of contours to 30. Um, and then you can check OK. And what you see is that it's all red, right? It looks totally uniform at like about 15 meters per second, which was our inlet velocity. And we expect that far away, but we kind of thought we'd see this layer of fluid where we're going to get those velocity profiles that we're used to. And you know the color bar goes down to zero. So what's going on? And the answer is that the boundary layer is really, really small, which is why we did all of that refinement. And which is why I emphasized that throughout the initial lectures, that we're talking about a very thin layer of fluid, and that's where all of the drag force is coming in. So if we zoom in quite a bit closer, you can see on the last several cells, we have a gradient in the velocity field. And so, so, uh, so that's the velocity profile that we would expect to see. It's just that it's a little bit striking when you see the size of the domain and you would maybe expect to see a larger uh, profile because we always draw those uh, boundary layers quite large, but in fact, it's very tiny. And if you do the same sort of zoom at the beginning of the plate, you can see that flow profile developing. So there's nothing right at the start of the plate at the origin, and there's a little bit of a boundary layer and all the way on the other end, we have the fully formed boundary layer. So that's the first thing to notice about the results that we've gotten so far. Um, what we're going to do next is we're gonna start to export some properties of this flow to Excel. So let's go down to XY plots, and we can hide these cut plots in mesh for now. And we're going to want to view our simulation um, from a nice, well, actually not exactly that view. That view will be nice. And we want to right click XY plots and click insert. And the first thing we're going to look at is shear stress uh, at the wall. So click, um, do we want XY? So we actually want shear stress in the X direction. So you're going to want to click more parameters, loads, shear stress X, and then click OK. 
And so we've selected shear stress X, and now you want to select this inner surface that runs along the plate. And the first thing you can do is hit show, and it will show a little bit of a plot. And actually, one thing I forgot to do here is you want model X. So instead of, so there's this X and Y icon, click, it has length, model X, model Y, model Z, click model X, and then hit show. And now it's going in the X direction from zero to the length of the plate, and it's showing us shear stress along the wall. So that's the plot we would expect. What we want to do next is hit export to Excel. And that's going to save an Excel file in the documentary where you're uh, in the documentary in the um, uh, in the uh, directory where you've stored your assignment, and uh, and so it will open this and it, it saved that file already for us. And you've got on the bottom tabs one is that exact chart we were looking at, and one is a plot data chart. And what you're going to want to do is go file blank workbooks. You're going to want to open another instance of Excel. And now let's save this value. Um, I'm deciding to call it flow data, but so whatever folder where you're doing your assignment, just make an Excel sheet. And in this case, we're going to name the tab share stress. And we want to grab this data. Oh. What is going on there? Let's go copy. OK. And here we want to indicate two things. Let's make, let's just organize ourselves here. So this is going to be shear stress. And just grabbing a symbol. Sorry about that. So we have shear stress, and we're going to have a laminar case as well as a turbulent case. Okay, but we have the data in Excel. We can go ahead and save that. And then you can exit out of this. You don't have to save. We didn't make any changes. The next thing you want to do is accept. And then let's insert a, another XY plot, and we can just go ahead and select the line ahead of time. So you've got this cut extrude line. Now you want to go insert, and we want to do a X velocity plot. And in this case, we want to set the coordinate to model Y. And then let's go ahead and show. And we will then export to Excel. So here is that graph, and now we can go model Y. Copy. And we want to paste that into flow data. So let's make another tab where we have velocity. And we will have laminar. You want to merge the cells next to laminar, turbulent, and just make this all velocity. So we're going to have a table of velocity data, and then we can paste. Okay. 
And let's bolt those for good measure. So I'm just centering and bolding and making a nice table for myself here. All right, save that. So now we have velocity data uh, for the laminar case and we have shear stress data for the laminar case. The next thing we wanna do is uh, run a turbulent case and import that data. So let's go to the, so okay, we're good with that plot. The next thing we wanna do is uh, hit general settings. And in general settings, we can go to fluids, and then we want to select turbulent only. So click OK, OK, and then we can rerun our analysis. That run tab should be good to go. And this analysis is going to take slightly longer to run because uh, because the turbulent solver is much more involved. So we can insert our goal table again and observe the progress. And remember last time we had a, a shear that was um, 0 0.08 pascals. And in this case, we're going to expect a much larger value of shear. So it's taken away. And there we go. So what you want to do now is basically grab that same data. So if you open XY plot, the first one, we can export that to Excel. Okay, and so then there's some plot data. You can go ahead and copy. So this was shear stress. I'll just resize the table. Good. Now we can exit out of these. We can also export our velocity data. Copy that, move it over into flow data in your velocity tab. And again, I will just resize. So now we have all of that data we generated in uh, SolidWorks and we've moved it into Excel. And next time we are going to uh, analyze it. That's all for this lecture.